Uh, Ooh, are we? Ooh, 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 ooh. We're fucking pressing a gay. Speaking of, you do know that like literally a third of all these episodes start with you singing, right? <laughs> That's fine. Yeah, that's fine. Uh, before we get, get going with the episode, uh, we, we I mentioned this in the Devil May Cry playthrough, but Mal, have you looked at your pop filter and seen the like little rusty orange spots? Yeah. Is that from all of our saliva? It's from our saliva. I believe that's actual rust because our, our pop filters are are metal like a mesh, mesh. metal. Uh, so that's just that's just a fun little fact. Just yeah. a a toxic, now rusty pop filters right in front of our faces. Toxic because don't smell them. What are we doing? What? A fridge weaver? Fridge we fringe weaver. A, fr a fridge wiener, One. as we've already made that joke. Wait, did I say fridge wiener? Uh, no. Oh, I said oh. fridge wiener for oh. you. Oh, you, okay. You were the okay. original one who said fridge wiener, though. I see. You're the fridge weenie. Yeah. <laughs> mm, uh, mm, uh. uh. One fringe weaver. What kind of memories do you have with rum? Nothing you need to worry about. Okay. All right, now's my turn to ask questions. About what? What kind of family is your family? Well, I'm an only child. My mom and dad split amicably. My mom is a violinist, so she was always away from home with the orchestra. I spent most of my time with my dad, my aunt, and my grandpa. Aside from that, I'd say my childhood was quite uneventful. Huh. Didn't you get something like your mom's artistic vein or something? I played the violin until I was around 16, I think. What made you stop? I don't know. I just kind of said, that's it, one day and stopped. I feel like that's how it is for a lot of people with a lot of instruments. Yeah. What about cousins or the rest of your family? I see very little of them, actually. Mainly because my dad moved away from most of them. Most of my mom's family live in France, to boot. So your mom's French? Yup. Can you speak French? Mon. <laughs> no, Mon. come on, Mal. Let's do it. Give me a... S you, you, can't, you can't tell me to do it and then scream over me the whole time. All right. Tony. All right. I'll just quietly scream in the background. Okay. Come on, do it. No, that doesn't work either. That's a Mon Aero Glacier is plain de Angui. <laughs> hey, the Angui, that was that was good. That was some Thanks. that was some high level bullshit. Ooh, what does that mean? Rubbish? I don't know. I can't speak French. I didn't try though, but college started and I stopped taking classes. Funny thing, I actually have a cousin from my mom's side that lives close by. That's hilarious, Jill. <laughs> But you'll be hard pressed to make me spot him in a crowd. <laughs> You're kind of lucky, you know. All of my mom's side of the family lives here. The chances of me meeting someone I'm related to on the street are ridiculously high. But yeah, that's the primer on my family. Nothing too interesting, sadly. Your mom's a French violinist, and you call that uninteresting? I'm wondering if your family has ever made a fuss about you being a hacker. Hacker makes it sound too exotic. It's like if I called you a mixologist. Please don't ever. Sounds like something somebody would say to make bartenders sound sophisticated. See? I mean, hacker is a good way to summarize it, but it's not the best. I'm a security consultant. People want to find flaws in the security of their systems, and I do my best to pinpoint where it breaks. Be it Glitch City or anywhere else in the world. They need security? I'm their woman. You've told quite a few stories about cracking into databases to retrieve info like some sort of mercenary, though. That doesn't change the fact that hacker is not the best term to use. It makes the whole thing sound illegal when it's actually an honest job. Didn't you tell me you once secured some incriminating pics from a guy's cell phone? A mostly honest job. Sheesh. What made you become a hacker, by the way? I've always been a sucker for puzzles. Even as a kid, I always had a Sudoku or crossword with me. But at some point, they started feeling kind of samey. So when I started college, I took a course on system security. It felt like the kind of puzzle I was looking for. I mean, there are all kinds of things involved in breaching net security. You need to attack the stuff from different angles. And it's something that's always evolving. The whole point of everything is to strengthen security. Every time you think you've got the gist of it, they change everything. 
so it's kind of like an always evolving puzzle. A puzzle I helped make harder at that. Huh, I didn't think about it that way. It is less action-y than what movies make it up to be, though. No real-time frantic typing, nothing like that. Are you telling me that Swordfish? What was that? Was that the name of the movie? That John Travolta movie? Are you telling no me that idea. Swordfish was like was all fake and made up? Because Swordfish is real. I mean, Swordfish are real. The movie Swordfish, probably not. Okay, that's that's literally not true. That like there, there's not an actual. Tony, fish I'm sword. getting spit ready. That's well, and that's the problem with our pop filters, Mal. That's why they're all rusted, Mal. Oh, oh. <laughs> Still, seeing my code break through something, it's an amazing feeling. Will you have anything else? Hmm, I'll have a classy drink. Any classy drink. Here goes nothing. Classy. By type. Yeah. Classy. What about a uh, Mercury, Mercury Blast? Mercury Blast. Sour, classy, burning. Maybe. No, I want a Mercury Blast. Last. We've already done all the other ones. I know we've done all the other ones. I want a Mercury Blast. <laughs> yeah, oh God. Are you doing okay I want today? A Mercury Blast. Why are you giving her Cobalt Velvet? She's already had one today. Oh, wait, really? Yes. Shit, I don't know. Uh, fucking here. Let's go back. What's, uh, what's a, our classic Brantini, maybe? Ugh. Sweet, classy, happy. Yeah, let's do a, let's do a Brantini. Ugh. So boring. Well, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm not choosing choosing the most exciting options here. All right. All I mean, you could. Mixed. I told you what the the best option was, and you ignored me. Well, I'm for no too, reason. Mal, I'm too afraid. Well, Tony. I'm a feared. What are you afraid of, Tony? Uh, I I don't feel comfortable love? talking about that. Well, yes, I'm afraid of love. <laughs> here. Bravo! You made me very happy. Woohoo! I guess. Uh, what is Jill, what is Jill's deal? What's she's, going on here? She's just fucking. She's just a sarcastic asshole because she also represses her emotions. God damn it, Jill! You know, sometimes I feel you know me better than all the guys I've been with. Date. I feel compelled to ask how many guys you've been with. If we're talking about serious, long-lasting relationships, just a handful. Casual dating and one-night stands, on the other hand. Why do that? I go through so many people. Hey, it's not like I take every guy I see to bed. Who do you take me for? You know what I mean. Yeah, yeah. That's something I don't have an answer to, actually. Maybe I'm just a romantic that loves having someone to cuddle with. Maybe I just get lonely. I mean, there's nothing wrong with it. Yeah. Maybe there's a deep-seated psychological reason behind it all. Maybe I'm just horny. Whatever the case, I just kind of feel like it's a quest I shouldn't give up yet. Well, it's not like I'm too different. Until recently, I too had a streak of one night stands. Oh, really? What made you stop? Reasons. What is it? Tell me. M maybe later. It's time for my break. Come with me. Huh? Why? Can't I stay here away from the cold? I don't trust you. You could fit a bottle between those tits of yours and nobody would know. Why not just say please come and let's keep talking at the back of the bar? You got the message. Now come! God, Jill. Jill, just... God, guide me then. Boss, I'm taking my break. Call me if anyone comes in. Sure, sure. God damn it, Jill. Are we gonna get another environment where we talk to a... Uh... There's no way. There's no way it's going to give us another environment. We're going to be back at this bar right after this break. Okay. Like we'll find I, out. I guarantee you. It's now safe to keep playing. Wow. Wow. wow there's a lot of characters in this game. There sure like, fucking are. Like, there's a shit ton of characters. I know. Cold, 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 cold. Oh, yeah. Yeah, see? Yeah, no. I No, there's, there's no fucking way. Damn it. Although I thought having, we were gonna see like the like the the alleyway behind the bar and the back door or something. What, imagine how just how exotic that location would it be. It would be. She'll be like smoking a cigarette or something. Well, but like actually, I do. She'd think give fucking Alma her sweater, and that's when the romance would begin. I do. I am. I'm not gonna lie. These two are quite shippable. They are very shippable. They are. They are sturdy. 
uh, they are, uh, what, what was the Talos the Titanic described? Like, the, the greatest unsinkable ship or yeah. something like that? Yeah, mm-hmm. Though maybe comparing our ship to the Titanic is not, uh, uh, karmically good. Yeah, don't, don't worry about it. Okay. Don't worry about it. It sure is chilly out there. It's kind of refreshing. The hobo out there, don't call people hobos, Jesus. The hobo out there seems like a nice guy. Billy Vine? Yeah, he's a cool guy. Very respectful. Apparently he got into some legal trouble and that's why he's homeless like that. Oh no. Really? He could also just be a very nice crackhead though. So, are you gonna tell me? What? Why did you stop having one night stands and all that? Why didn't you talk about that in the back? (laughs) Uh, I started working here. I don't know. After I started working here, I felt like I didn't need to do that anymore. Also, I have a huge crush on my boss. Maybe I was just lonely. Aw, how cute. I also got fed up with everyone complaining about me smoking on the bed. You're gonna burn the bed with that. Yeah, yeah. Oh no, and that, that those two sentences are why these two can never truly be no! shipped. No! If you ever need a hug, just let me know. You don't need one night stands for that. <sighs> you left me thinking, though. What's your thing? Your fetish? Because <laughs> everybody's got one. Everyone's kind of got their like fetish. Everyone's got their fetish, like uh, like a cartoon character has their own like custom Gundam or some shit. Oh, jeez. You strike me as the kind to have an overpower fetish of sorts. You want to feel totally swayed by someone. Have consensual yet forceful sex with your partner. Uh. Did I hit bullseye? You have quite the imagination, girl. Uh, wait, 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 hold on, hold on. Dorothy's just like a very excited high-pitched Tony. Okay, all right, all right. Honey, some service here. I'm here, don't scream. Oh ho, were you two hanging out at the back of the bar? What kind of stuff were you doing? Just hawking. Is that what they call it these days? What do you want? Something soft, something sweet. No alcohol, please. Wouldn't it be the same if you just grabbed a soda from a vending machine? But I like you. (laughs) Do you dislike my presence so much? Uh, Sweet and non-alcoholic, you say? All right. I do. I do feel like there was something. Yeah, there was. That's got optional card oh. train. Oh, pff, fucking Perfect. easy. One, yep. two, one, three, four. No, uh, no, no karma train. What? No karma train, Tony. I'm sorry. What do you mean? Uh, sometimes. Yeah, I'm, I'm not gonna do that. That'd be fucked. It would be fucked, but you were doing it. Oh wait, it. shit. <laughs> yeah, yeah, you were doing it, Tony. All right, there we go. Here, like you asked. See. You don't get this kind of treatment from vending machines. Unless you're Lawrence. But he has this weird idea that good servants is the same as selling lukewarm cans of cola. Lawrence? A friend of mine. He's a vending machine. Oh. <laughs> All right, I'm into this. I'm into this world where, like, vending machines can be people. Yeah. Oh, but how impolite of me. Hmm? I'm lovely, and my name's Dorothy. Dorothy Hayes, nice to meet you. Oh, I'm... Okay, now I'm going to need you to take one of these two. Oh, okay. I, I can't do it. Which one oh, do you want? Oh, God. Right, I'll you, be Dorothy. All right. I feel like you've had to read enough of her awful dialogue. <laughs> <laughs> Mal, I appreciate that. Yeah. Okay. Oh, I'm Alma. The pleasure's mine. Dorothy, you say? Yep. Why? Nothing. I guess I've heard about you before. Really? What kind of stuff? Tell me, tell me! Mostly about your, um, pluckiness. And here I was, thinking it was because I'm a sex worker. So much for trying to be subtle. Hey, I take pride in my job. Otherwise, I wouldn't be doing it. Isn't it dangerous? I know how to take care of myself. Thank you very much. Plus, I have missiles in my fingers. <laughs> like literal missiles. Where do you work, Alma? I'm a hacker. Really? A full-fledged hacker? Yeah, like in the movie Swordfish. 
Not the kind that sees a computer logged into some account and says that's hacking, right? No, of course not. I've always been curious about how being a hacker works. Do you just start typing really fast while waiting for something to happen? No, I can explain, but I don't know if you'll get it. You won't know until you try, right? Last time I said that I had to do jam... Last time I said that I had to jam the plastic replica of a halogen light bulb up a grown man's ass. It was a success. Oh, God. Um, Okay, then. Let me try to explain in general how it works. Let's say I have to retrieve information from a company's database. All right. First, I do some research on the target. OS, servers, how the information is stored and all that. There have been a couple of occasions where I had to go in blind, but they're the exception rather than the rule. First, I secure things from my side. I start working behind proxies, websites, and through other more vulnerable computers I find on the way. Uh Uh-huh. After that, I start testing the networks. I go through the basic protocols, try known exploits as long as they don't trigger uh, any alarm. Once I've tested the ground, the fun starts. I go through all the security protocols and look to bypass them. Sometimes I have to look deeper into the code for the password itself. I, I see. Then, when I'm finally in, I go and retrieve user privileges. After that, I go and try to become a super user and get what I need. How do you do that? Well, there are a couple of ways. I can use a pre-made program to hack into an already existing account. You can tell Dorothy just getting nervous here. Mm -hmm. I can use info someone already gave me. But the usual way is using a buffer overflow. But buff What happens next? What happens next? I create a backdoor in the system before leaving and covering my tracks. I I can't. I can't handle it anymore. Alma, hack me! Hack me like you've never hacked anything before! <laughs> oh, God. Uh, uh? Make my buffer overflow! Create a backdoor in me! Escalate your user privileges! Oh, Find God. flaws in my security! <laughs> oh, no! So, sorry, I got carried away. <laughs> no shit, what happened? Have you seen those movies or books where a couple does something like paint a picture or cook? But they make it sound like they're having sex instead? Suggestive scenes, yeah. Well, that whole thing was kind of like that for me. Really? Wow, we're really just kind of talking about this matter of fact lately. <laughs> I guess humans don't really get it because their minds don't op- upload to networks or anything. But trust me, if you recorded yourself giving a really detailed explanation in a really sexy voice, you'd make millions. Horny Lelum are an unexploited market. I see. Oh, looks like my ride is here. What? Would you look at that? Your ride? Yep, my brother-in-law came to look for me. Is it all right to ask that from him? It's okay. I've known him since preschool. It just so happened that he got married to my sister. Hey, Dorothy, you need a ride? Can you drop me by 3rd Street? Sure, it's on the way. Yay, I'll take your offer then. Bye, honey. Later, Jill. Take care. God. The street seems noisy. God, those two are trouble. Right? Oh, a client. Hello, welcome to Valhalla. What can I get? <gasps> And you can go get the next episode of Valhalla. Shit. So thanks for watching the episode, everybody. Who's it going to be? Who's this new character? Don't accidentally ah. click. Oh, 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 yeah. Wait. Oh, yeah. You meant me. But you should <laughs> you should purposely click on the next episode. So thanks for watching the video. If you enjoyed it, you should hit the subscribe button. should also consider checking out our Patreon. It's there in the end card and in the video description. We super appreciate the support. Hey, see you later, everybody. Bye.